All right, guys, with hunting season just around the corner, today I wanted to talk about knives that I'm going to be using for hunting this season. So without any further ado, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, check out the Instagram. The support means a ton. Okay, now let's talk about it. So I don't, so don't necessarily have any order here in which knives I'm gonna choose, but these are all within reason knives that I'm going to be using for this upcoming hunting season, primarily for dressing game animals, skinning them out, doing whatever with whatever animals I get. So the first one on the list is going to be the K-Bar BK-18. Now this little guy right here is, I think, a really promising blade, especially for being reasonably budget for skinning because this harpoon tip allows you to have a very nice, very acute, like very thin tip for piercing and doing a lot of very fine tooth cuts. It also has a very nice, uh, very nice, almost continuous belly. So when you're doing long draw cuts, this blade really does help amplify that with its long extended belly. <coughs> So overall, I think this blade, as far as the blade shape goes and the blade style goes, will actually perform really well when it comes to doing hunting and game processing tasks. In addition to that too, for me at least, I find the handle to be very comfortable for extended durations of holding it and the minimal, uh, the minimal jimping on this doesn't really get in the way for me. <clears throat> so the first one up on the list is the K-Bar BK-18. Okay, next one up on the list is going to be the Martini Tundra GR. And this little guy right here is, is probably is quite bright to see the blade. Uh, this darn mirror polish finish is a reasonably new addition to the collection and a designed to be a general purpose bushcrafting blade. It is really just the bushcraft by Martini and I'm pretty excited to see how it performs. This blade, while seemingly pretty generic and pretty basic as far as the handle goes, as far as the blade shape goes, is a pretty good performer so far. So I have good hopes or high hopes for it to continue to perform very well. And so far I've really been liking it. It's 416 or 4116 I should say, Krupp stainless steel should perform really well as far as rust resistance goes, but I am pretty curious about the edge retention. So, okay. Next one is going to be the Falcon Even F1. Now, some of these knives, like the ones I'm about to show, I have had for quite some time, but unfortunately here in Alaska, our real hunting season is pretty darn short. So a lot of these knives that I may have gotten over the winter or even late fall, I really didn't have a good chance to properly use because our hunting season is just so short. So like I said, the next one up on the list is the Falcon Even F1. And uh, this little guy should be a pretty darn good hunting blade as well, because it is, while kind of on the thick end, very sharp and this convex grind it goes straight to zero from the spine and it is very, very slicey. So I've liked his performance as far as woodcraft goes. So I think I will continue to like its performance in material processing or animal processing. Okay, another one that I've had for quite some time is the 3DK or Three Dog Knives MAK. Now this one is another one that's designed for hunting and I've had, like I said, for some time, but I just missed the hunting season when I got it last fall. So I'm excited to bust this one out and definitely expect to see some pictures of this one, at least on the Instagram, of getting down and dirty because that is fully what I am. That is what I fully intend to do with this guy, especially because I really did want to uh, use this one for its intended and original purposes of being a skinning blade. So the 3DK MAK, I'm definitely excited to bust out and use. Okay, next one up on the list that I haven't actually had for that long of a time is the Bravo One by BRK. Now this one, I'm not sure how much I'm going to use it for skinning because it isn't fully designed for hunting or skinning applications. It is really a multi-role blade, so it can be pushed into just about any situation, but uh, it's not fully designed for hunting. However, it still is a really fantastic blade, and I'm definitely looking forward to using it, and its performance should be just fine. It, once again, similar to the F1, it is a bit of a beefy blade, as you guys can see there, being around a quarter inch thick, but it does have a very nice, very well done convex grind that makes it very slicey. 
So I have no doubts that this should process uh, natural resources and game animals very well. So ultimately excited to see it, it work in that role and put it through its paces. Okay, last one up on the list is going to be the JBK Layman. Once again, yet another blade that I've had for quite some time and uh, I have put some mileage on in other tasks, but once again, because I got it pretty much early winter, very late fall last year, I really didn't have any time to really put this to, through its paces on processing game animals, but I definitely look forward to doing that this year. So that's what I'm going to do with this little guy and definitely make it do some awesome work. I think this blade will actually do a fantastic job at skinning and game processing. It really is designed for that kind of lifestyle or designed with that in mind. So definitely looking forward to that. And this blade is so comfortable. I really do love using the little JBK Layman. It is a fun, awesome blade that I do definitely enjoy. So anyways, guys, that is the last one, the JBK Layman, and hopefully enjoy taking a look at these handful of blades that I'm going to be busting out and using for a good deal of game processing. I know some people aren't as knife lover as, are not quite knife lovers like me, but I like having and using a good amount of blades for processing different animals, primarily because I just like it for data points and understanding how and knowing the performance behind different blades, how they perform, how good they are, and ultimately, you know, if I recommend them or not in that regard. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully the lighting isn't too bad, but uh, yeah, just working with what I got. Anyways, guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.